It's time to do a video game. You know what I mean? We're going to get get we're going to get it on big time. Hi. I am Jeff Gersman and it's Wednesday. And it's time to crack into this. What is this? I'm running out. I bought my variety pack of small cans, uh, accidentally small cans of C4 here, and I've chewed through it pretty quickly. This has Cognizin in it for mental focus. Everyone's favorite substance, Cognizin. Open, drink, achieve, repeat. All right, well, fuck, man. That's me. That's, that's yeah. <laughs> I'm going to crack open this can of Freedom Ice. Fucking Freedom Ice. Here we go. Smells like like a bad <clears throat> bad fruit <laughs> bad fruit flavored vitamin. I don't know. Mm, tastes like freedom. It's very smooth and 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 uh, and and tasteless. Like there's not a lot going on with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of, it's, uh, the flavor is present, but not so much that you'd notice, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's, uh, you, you know, I, oh man, the last week or so has been a little rough, um, my boy, who is, you know, we still, we are still just sleeping in this room together here because, you know, he's just, he's used to that and all that other stuff. Um, he gets up around, uh, around 4 a.m. for a, for a, for a breastfeeding session. And, um, Lately, he just, uh, he really doesn't, he really doesn't go back to sleep. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, so he's been waking up a little bit earlier sometimes. So he, like this morning it was three and then, um, he would occasionally go back to sleep. He used to, he used to go back to sleep and then he stopped going back to sleep immediately. But then I would move him. I got a little swing over here set up. I could set him in there. He would go back to sleep for another hour. And so I could sleep for another hour. And it's like this disjointed sleep from four to seven or whatever, but it would all kind of even out and it'd be like, eh, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hours in at least some of them are a little weird at the end, but lately he just doesn't, he does not go back to sleep <clears throat> and, um, he's thirstier and hungrier and all this other stuff. So it's like, you know, I'm getting up at like six and bringing him a bottle of milk and, uh, a pouch, uh, like a, like a peanut butter banana pouch or some kind of fruit pouch, you know, squeezy thing. And he just squeezes all that into his mouth. And, and then sometimes he is sated by that and like, okay, cool, man, I can hang out here. And then, and then now he's not even, yeah, he's, uh, he's been, he's been un unsatisfied with the options that, that I've been able to present him, uh, for the past little chunk of time. And it is, uh, slowly catching up with me over the course of this last week or so, but you know, we'll see. Um, you know, eventually all that schedule will change and we're talking about, um, what we'll probably do is we'll move him up upstairs to his room and, um, and then, probably still have him come down here at four for a while, uh, you know, and, and cause after he feeds and all the other stuff, cause that room is right next to where my daughter sleeps. And if he's going to freak out after 4am, we don't want him waking her up. So yeah, I don't know. We've, we've got to figure that stuff out. It's, uh, you know, you think like, oh man, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool that we got this bigger house and, and, you know, like, oh, we got more bedrooms and, and room for all these kids and, and, and all this stuff. And, and then you start to piece together. Like, oh, wait, but like the two rooms are right next to each other. And he sometimes will like, 
flip out at 4 a.m. And that's not going to work because then she'll wake up and she won't go back to sleep. And then that's a, that's a handful and a half. And, and, and yeah, so there's like a little bit of like puzzle game ness to this whole thing right now. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, I'm tired. <laughs> I am fucking tired. Anyway, I thought we would check out some Goat Simulator 3 since I've been playing a little bit of that lately. And then um, and then I don't know how they're going to run, but I, I thought it would be fun to check out some Fortnite. But I, you know, I tried it out before the stream to to try it with all the bells and whistles turned on. And uh, it, it did not it did not care for that. <laughs> um, so we're going to have the ray tracing turned off. Um, and we'll, we'll check out some of that and then we'll check out Callisto protocol, same deal, except, uh, Callisto protocol just doesn't run great top to bottom. And then also, um, I got some tapes. I don't know. This is, this is not really a tape. I bought a VCR. I bought a head cleaner for a VCR in 2022. That's the type of life I'm leading. I got this VCR hooked up to a capture card and I got. A couple tapes that I, I've been meaning to capture, but I thought maybe, you know, we could test out the setup a little bit. And um, I've got, well, I've got one tape that is just completely unlabeled, and I'm not going to put that in on a stream. It'll be like that. It'll be Polish afterburner all over again. Um, but I've got one that appears to be a tape that Capcom used in a lawsuit against Data East. And I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. So, um, cause I can't remember if they have any commentary on that or if it's just footage that they played in court. Um, and then a lawyer talked about it or not, but we'll, you know, we'll, uh, maybe, maybe we'll pop that in depending on how other things go. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Why don't we play a little, why don't we play a little goat simulator three here? Um, it's out on the Epic Store. I've been I've been fooling with it a little bit, and I you know I like it well enough. It's it's uh oh right I got to turn that filter on. I got to turn that filter on, or else this whole thing's not gonna. I turned it off for the podcast. There's a, a better there's a better way to do <laughs> this than the way I currently have it set up. That's that much is for sure. Um, let's turn it down a smidge. I don't know what to make of this game. It, it's, I don't, um, You know, the, the genre of, like, physics weirdness is something that I feel like we've... We've had in games for quite some time now, and it's not... Just not as interesting on its own. Uh, but that said, I did find a hat that lets me shoot fish at things. And so... It's got something going for it, that's for sure. Um, so there's a progression to this. You, as you complete tasks, eventually parts of your little castle here start to open up, uh, or you, you, I guess are, are they, you're gaining abilities. I, I, it's, I forget, uh, cause you, I've only done two of those, but I hit that fucker with a fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. You fucking want some? And so our main uh, ways of interacting with the world uh, is to stick our tongue to it, at which point we can drag it around, or to headbutt it. And then, yeah, you 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 know you'll find additional uh, items such as the fish launcher here. I can also uh, there is a ragdoll button. Or at any point, I can ragdoll and still have some control. For Pete's sake. 
and then snap out of that at any point. And then if I'm in the air, I can... Oh god, what happened there? We got stuck in the ground. I can hit, the, hold the left trigger for, uh, you know, some air control for some tricks and such. And, uh, let's see, what else? Then the other kind of cool thing you can do... What's going to be a good way for us to do this? You can do like a Mario triple jump. Get some height. You can also just hold down A and run up the sides of things pretty easily. Oops. And then on certain types of things, you can grind. So. You know, that's pretty cool. The, the vague Tony Hawk-esque sort of thing going on. Uh, and you, in the world, you find these t uh, tasks. And they are often deliberately ambiguous. This one just says, tend to the plants. And, you know, we... If we look at what we've got going here, I'm, I'm going to assume that this is not here for no reason. So, I'm going to assume that, you know, okay, well, these are already in the ground, but uh, we probably need to get some fertilizer and fertilize them. Then probably we need to sing to them, and then maybe that will make them sprout. So, we probably need to find fertilizer. Easy enough. Okay. Fuck that guy. Uh, and then I guess the B button will uh, make you ba. So there we go. It's just that easy. And so we have, uh, we have achieved two Illum Illuminati ranks. And we are most of the way to the third. Ricer, use the right bumper near a vehicle to pimp it. Boy. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, oh, right. We put a fake trailer on our back, I guess. Yeah, um... Oh, I can keep making these go up, huh? Have I seen the new Jeff Minter game? Yeah, Jeff Minter is making a... Uh, what a weird... He's making a new version of Aka R, which, uh, if you were watching the Atari 50 stream, you may have seen me play some of that. That was a game that Atari partially developed and then didn't release because it was not great. <laughs> um, and, um... And the Jeff Minter is making, like, a remake version of that that looks all trippy and cool. Which... Great. Awesome. That's... Yes. Let's see. Let's see that. You'd love to see me do some more Atari 50 stuff. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind digging into that a little bit more. I thought about that for today, but then I thought, you know, this this was a long... Maybe, you know, we'll see how the other stuff uh, fares today. Because I, I, don't, I don't suspect we'll be playing much Callisto Protocol today. I mostly just want to load it up and see how it, how it goes, because last time I launched it, it crashed. Um, so that may be a very short segment today. All right, well, we're up pretty high here. Uh, so I don't, I don't really see anything to land on that's good down there, but fuck it. See, you don't, you know, it's hard to stick the landing when you fall from any real height. <laughs> so we've got a map. Um, 
Is there... I, I should check and see if... Because if you go to this multiple times, if it does anything. So that you have these instincts up in the corner, which are not full-on quests. They're just like, oh, if you do this little dumb thing, you'll get some... You know, some, uh, some of the, like, gear currency. Okay, this looks like it might actually provide us with something. Yeah. And so that'll give you more of these instinct style quests when you find those. Expose a trash man. And so th these are even more ambiguous. Um, do I get Tony Hawk vibes from the game with all the secrets? I mean, yes and no, right? I mean, like clearly they're trying to evoke certain parts of that with the, the way the trick system is, is done. Oh, geez. But really, you know, it's, uh, I think a big part of it is just, you know, go do physics-y weird stuff and... And watch the fun. That That's mostly what I've been doing uh, when my, you know, my daughter got a hold of it. She was really just running around causing trouble uh, inadvertently. Pointy food. Oh, also you can drive. Because, you know, of course you can. Now, if we can crash this just right or find a ramp, uh, you can, this boost that you have on the car. Oh, the, the stairs would probably work for that. We can kind of just end up in the air forever. <laughs> Contribute to the sculpture, it says. Uh, maybe that's outside. Oh. We can also just ride along. But even when you're riding along, you can make the AI boost. Which, uh, is really broken. I feel like that's this game. <laughs> I feel like if we stopped right here and said, yeah, no, you, this is, this is what you do in this game. I feel like that, that's, yes, we, we boosted, uh, you know, oh, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> uh. Oh, if we hold down the headbutt, he'll, he'll stand up and wind it up. Oil barrels will... Okay, here we go. Yeah, oil... But oil. As soon as you get oil spilling everywhere, it automatically catches on fire. And now we'll shoot fireballs for a while. Also, while sliding on the oil. It's like... I feel like it, this is a very dumb game, and it's extremely robust in its dumbness. And there are parts of it that I think... Oh, God. There are parts of it that you just kind of go like, Yeah, well, okay... Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a physicsy sandboxy sort of thing. It's gonna be fucking weird, and you know, you're gonna eventually fly into the air for no reason, and and all that sort of stuff. You know, that's the way that you know when you're playing around with weird physics things. It's just the kind of the way it goes. Um, 
But it does it at, at a nice scale, I think, and has just enough different weird interactions with it, with like, you know, oh, the oil. Now I'm sliding around all over the place and we're on fire. Uh, I need to hit this 500 times. hell happened there oh fuck you how about that fuck your newspapers But there, I mean, I think there are also like there are aspects of it that feel a little one note, you know. Um, cooking class, let your taste buds guide you. Uh, let's see. Can we put... It says, put three ingredients in. I assume it wants us to put it in that big bowl on the stage. Oh, I guess we just got some stuff here. There's one. Like, uh, the, the game starts with a, you know, a very protracted intro to Skyrim joke that really kind of, it's just, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> like it was, a, it was a little, a little long and then they realized it was getting long. So they started writing, you know, they, they, they wrote dialogue saying like, I'm surprised you haven't skipped this yet because of how long it is. And it's like, ah, that's still... It's that, that old thing of joking about how bad your thing is doesn't make it good. It just means you knew that it had a problem. <laughs> All right, another tower to synchronize with. So, you know, and then you've kind of got your your loose synchronize with the tower kind of thing. So I don't think I, I, I don't think that the parody stuff the or the, the, the light references to other games like where they say synchronize with this tower um, or where they've got their big Skyrim thing. I, I don't, I don't think that stuff lands particularly well so far that maybe, you know, I'm sure there's more of it as, as time goes on. Like that stuff is kind of like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, but just the, the actual chaos of it is, is well done. We have reached the third level of I guess enlightenment or, or whatever. So it just, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need the weird parody stuff because it just seems kind of thrown in and, and a little inconsistent. Did that open up something upstairs? Is that...
I'm not... Well, I mean, those are clearly four spots on the map, but are, are those towers... Okay, well, no, because that's a tower right there. I will admit I am not certain what this is attempting to show me because it is not a fast travel map per se, um, but does have these four lit up spots. This one would appear to be over by this one. But where is it exactly? Let's, because that'll be the closest one. We can go over there and look. Okay, so it's a big tower next to a dinosaur and a honk building. All right, let's, uh, we can teleport back to this tower. Let's see if there's a thing there. I kind of wish the run speed was a little bit faster. Uh, also, the game is multiplayer now, but there are... Oh, well, that was not... Uh, there are... Around here in this this starting area, there's like a soccer ball and like a, like a little crown for like a King of the Hill mode or something, but you can't really do anything with them unless you're... Oh, we can... We can make people ride around, huh? That's okay. That's... That's fun. You... Okay. Okay. No. Like watching to see if this shipment is getting delivered. Okay, here's our dinosaur. Oh, right. This is the gas station with the find the bathroom key. Um, okay, so it was saying that there was some... It was trying to imply that there was something... Over here? I believe... Or was it the other side? Gosh. I don't see a tower here. Uh, that van... Yeah, we'll, we'll steal that van later. And... Do some dumb shit in it. This will launch us. Maybe we can get a look at... We need to, I mean, the quest here is to find the bathroom key and open that up. Which I have not found. feels like it takes time for things to reset or maybe they don't they reset and they immediately break again when the physics simulation starts again because last time i loaded this up th like this roof of the gas station can come off and uh and when it when i took it off last time it stayed off for like a couple of sessions But now it it appears to be reset. Oh, this, hmm. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work out quite the way I thought. But now we're on fire at least. So we can just fucking blow up this gas station. Does 
Does the mattress bounce? Yeah, not high enough. Oh, it'll it'll get us on the roof eventually. Whoa. Oh, well, that's Sure. Sure. Serenity now. Uh so yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what's there. I I uh Like I don't see a tower. Well, there's that tower, but that's not Is it? Is that to I mean that's to the east. So is that no like Like, it was somewhere in... Hmm. Sometimes you want to get over stuff, and the way he runs up things is a little funky, but... Alright, can we get off and climb up to the top of this? No, you stupid goat! Because he will kind of only run up so far, so I can't just, like, run up to the top of this thing. But I did lower this one in an earlier... For whatever reason, it just won't let us run up that. That's frustrating. I don't know how this house ended up here. Oh, jump, you stupid. Oh, man. Apparently, that's a bouncy thing. Oh, okay. Well, we physics our way up. I don't see anything of note that would maybe be... Would maybe fit... Oh, damn it. The description of what we were looking for. There's this electric tower, but that's I don't think that's in the right position, right? Is it the Let's look at the map again. Is there a building where So there's this What are the buildings on the map here? Okay, there's that. So this is like our gas station front. This is the gas station building. And then this is the bathroom. And this is just the little garage thing in the back. Oh, we've been shocked by the boom box. Let's, let's go fuck some more people up. Yeah, do we need to drive a car in here and honk? Is that the... This fucking guy. Let's see if we can find a car that has not been uh, scorched. Uh, this car shoots oil barrels, which is real stupid. And it's probably not going to fit in here, is it? Oh, look at that.
Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, that's cool, I guess. I was hoping for something a little more mystical. I don't know. Shocked again, so. <laughs> oh, if you shock cars, they'll just take off, by the way. That's a fun interaction. That's like, to me, like, that's been the, the coolest part about this game is that there have been some, like, unexpected but welcome interactions where you're like, oh, if you shock the cars, they just take off in a direction. You're like, oh, that's, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Buy the fireworks launcher. Yeah, let's, yeah, all right. Uh, is that in here? Or is it a is it horns? No. I think all the interactable stuff is is on this. Duckhead, Spock, what am I missing? Laser beam. Inspire others. Pick soldier and then give orders. Oh no. Oh god. What even what's even happening there? That I don't I don't like the look of that. Oh man, that's actually uh wings that let you fly. Seems like it would be pretty useful. Well, it's not under featured. They couldn't have like temporary cosmetics in this, would they? Is it a back thing maybe? Okay, there are, okay, it's not just. I thought maybe there would only be one slot where all the interactable things went, but it, it, that is not the case. Okay. Satellite dish, absorb it and launch it through the air. That seems good, but let's, let's do this first. Oh, oh my. Oh. It's doing a physics. Yeah, so like sometimes, uh, you know, when I play this, I, it makes me think I should just uh, reinstall Gary's mod. You know what I mean? Why won't he jump? There we go. Oh, I bet if I had the wings, I could do this.
really more of a glide than a fly. Yeah, Sandbox, the, the Gary's Mod follow-up. The, the process they use to distribute keys for that is such a such a nightmare, but like a, a, I can really appreciate its specific style of nightmare, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see what the satellite dish does. Yeah, I haven't really spent any of this... Uh, any of my currency or whatever, so. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. You. See you later. I like that the guy driving the car doesn't get sucked up. Let's go this way and see what's there. Well, that was satisfying. Ah, here's contribute to the sculpture. Let's uh, see if we can shoot this bike at it. Or do we have to use the tongue to do this? You know, some of these things are just like once you kind of figure out the thing it's looking for. Like, I, I wish, I don't know. I guess that's a that's a me problem. But like, my temptation is just like, okay, once I figure out what it's going to be, I'm just going to like find the three nearest things and and shoot it at the thing. Like, you've had to do something like this a few times already. Whether it's like, uh, oh, build a car, and it's just you know, drag three things over to the car, and it sticks to it, and then it's like, here's your dumb car. And you're like, oh, that's a dumb car. I think I maybe I wish that some of this was a little more forcibly in depth or something. I don't know. And I think the goat uh, falls over too easily from from heights. I wish he would land stuff a little bit more easily. Yeah, that's right. You're next. First, I shoot, shoot the trash at you. Then I shoot you with the trash. That's goat law. Ah, you button hooked me. Yeah, I think the most broken physics-y thing in this game that I've seen so far is that when you're doing... If you ride along in someone else's car and hold down boost, you almost always just end up in the fucking air. And... This is... This is I'm not... This is not me reporting a bug. Oh. Go eat. 
Hmm. Okay, it looks like we could probably climb up this one to get up. No? 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 That's that's not hmm. Alrighty. Reach the highest point of the pointy foods factory is one of our instincts, so. Oh, that's not gonna oh well, <laughs> it did eventually boost us up in the air. Maybe not for the reasons I thought it would. I was like, oh, that's like a fan, right? It's gonna... No? No? It's just gonna... No? Well, this works too. Maybe. Uh, that's clearly going up. I don't know what we're... I don't know what sick game we're playing here. Game. See if we can get up, as they say. One color throw ups, two color throw ups. You know the routine. Okay. Okay, but can we... I mean, probably not, right? But I was going to say, can we... Can I, like... Oh, okay. That's a... That's a bounce. That's not... Ah. Okay, so we did that. What is... Is this a jet boost? Okay. Yeah, a jetpack. Sure. Very controllable. Very controllable. Help. You know, they could have made the jetpack something that you could control a little bit more easily, but, well, okay, I guess, well, no, no. <laughs> like, I feel like you have limited, maybe, maybe the secret is you just can't use it for long stretches of time without flipping out. Every car has boost, which is real. It's, it's a it's a strong choice. It's a good good move.
can I, I can, oh, so if I hold the left stick, the, the trick triggers that, no, not really. Oh, well, we're, we're out here now. Fuck it. Extremely limited control <laughs> over the jetpack, as far as I can tell. Okay, all right. No, I mean, or does it just kind of generally? No, I was gonna say, does it generally go in the direction I've got the camera facing, even though he's spinning out and freaking out? And the answer seems to be no. Uh, but yeah, the, the, well, I don't, I don't know if, I don't think there's something I'm missing on them. It's possible, right? But it, it, I don't think there's anything I'm missing there in terms of like landing on your feet and keeping going. Like, it just seems like you, from a lot of these high drops, you always just kind of land in that ragdoll state. I mean, I suppose a jetpack that lets just let you go exactly where you wanted to go would really probably nullify some of the challenge in this game. But that's, I don't know, that, that's just, this doesn't seem like what that game is, or what this game is, like about that sort of challenge. It seems like if you can, if you can figure out a way to disrupt or, or circumvent whatever jumping puzzle we put in this thing, by all means do it. Ah, the secret tape. But I, I, I will also say that in my time with this, I have found myself in this position multiple times of like, I... All right, well, I'm up here. I, I don't really know. It, you know, there's, there, it hasn't really... You know, there isn't really an, an, an immediate... Hey, here's what you do next, sort of thing. But I guess I can just go to the map and find it. And oh, oh, ah, mm, oh well. We'll go activate this tower that'll give us another fast travel point. And uh, this is working out great. a launcher it looks like it might be oh so in yeah to triple jump you have to be moving forward which again makes sense but it'd be, well sometimes you just want to get on top of something and not have to dick around with it yeah see so in short bursts the jetpack can get it done. But I guess my point is like, I don't, you know, it, it's the, the game part of this game is not something I really necessarily need. Like the objectives and, and that sort of stuff is, is fine. But like the, I don't know. Also, if the, if I just had way more control over the sandboxy stuff and, you know, just was able to just do it Gary's Mod style. Shun, I mean, maybe the game gets there, right? And maybe it's like, oh, okay, now you've spawned the item spawner. That would not be out of character for what we've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, all right. That eventually worked. 
Uh, but I, I feel like, you know, if I could, if with the jetpack, if I could like recover and then do a wall run and just, you know, just like more weird combo-y stuff with this item in particular, I think that would be really fucking fun. You know, but instead you're just kind of like, yeah, you, you, well, all right. Instead, you're just put into this nonsense ragdoll state. Which is fun in its own way, but. propane you got here. Is that a ghost trap? Okay. Oh. I appreciate that it makes vaguely Pac-Man-esque noises while the ghosts are out doing stuff. That's... Yep. Alright. Yeah, that's cool. This is... this is real dumb. I don't really have any control over that. That's just a, that's just doing what a ghost do. I don't have insurance. And the ghost thing, maybe a little one note. Uh, what else? Is there something? Possess the power to keep plants alive. Eh, plants, a therapeutic needle. What? The gum shot. Well, we need to. Um, Lord. Oh, no, that's just straight up a fucking shotgun. <laughs> sure. All right, yeah, that's... It really fucks shit up, too. Yeah, we blew up that car. Ah, 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 donuts. Gosh. What else we got? Get this needle thing. I do declare. Hmm. How do you 
Yeah, it doesn't really seem to do much. Okay. I can see anything ruining this perfect day. Okay. Well, I don't know that we have much else here that's... I mean, we'll go back to the fireworks launcher for now, and then I guess... Well, wait. The, I mean, because there's other... Is there stuff in the head department that would be... I mean, the laser. Megaphone, huh? All right. Uh, let's try the laser. Oh, so it shoots both. I was like, how does that work? Oh. Oh. That just keeps going, huh? Well, that's... I wish I could aim it up instead. Like, I, yeah, like more fine aim on some of these projectiles and beams and stuff would be kind of cool. Are you? You want to head out? Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah. All right. That's. But yeah, if I could aim this around, if I could aim this up and stuff, that would be. That would be a lot cooler, I think. I want to be able to look down and just keep hitting this fucking guy, you know? That's right, goat. goats can't look up, can they? map and see if there's anything else here uh attach rockets to three people in a row change the color of bikes all right i'll tell you what goat lovers i am gonna run to the restroom real quick and then maybe we'll futz around a little bit with this uh, with this a little bit more and then and then maybe do something else but I'll just leave this laser beam going and I'll be right back
Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. I want to add free uh, version of the old uh, audio podcast. You can head over to patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman. You know, as always, uh, you know, you do your thing with the hot Twitch subs and all that sort of stuff. Thanks to it med YG <laughs> pronouncing that way wrong. Soup bones. You planning on check out the, checking out the VR winter showcase in three minutes? No. Uh, Lysandus, an anonymous gifter for hooking up Uncle Carbuncle. Dmill one hundred three. The Tots. Steel Knight 2000, Ground Flyer, Ultimate Frost. Everybody! Hi. Oh, well, now we've... I guess that's one way to... Maybe if I just... Ooh, if I just ragdoll weird, is that gonna... Oh, jeez. I do appreciate that sometimes you just find yourself flying in the sky. Because of physics. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. You know, my daughter is uh, three and a half. And, uh, you know, she's not, she's not, she has not figured out how controllers work or anything like that yet, but she had fun kind of just going around and doing stuff in this game, so. seems like the perfect game for kids because kids love chaos and they love to break stuff but also mechanically there's like just enough to it you know it's got the Mario 64 triple jump kind of thing in it and you know, something that, like, is going to maybe get in the way for younger kids. But. I don't know. Could use more variety in the quips from the humans. Oh, this is where I flung that horror tape earlier. Down here by the satellite dish. Well, let's put it over there and maybe another hour or so we'll see it again. Um, the jousting lance is boring. Um, I, I like the satellite dish. I like the, you know, the idea of sucking up stuff and, and spitting it back out. But, uh... Oh, so I guess you can wear stuff and just turn the ability off. Maybe that's the... Anything else in this category that we want to try wearing? Um, mm -hmm. Muffles all the sound. That's all right. Sure. Inspire others with a light bulb. Create chaos. Well. I see. Just give us a radius. Uh, eight. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. I got gotcha. Uh, oh, where that? Why did that car just suddenly take? All right, we're gonna get in this. Oh, wait, oh, oh it's because I have my stupid lance. <laughs> like I'm stabbing it. All right, well, we made that thing blow up. Uh, let's.
Like, I wish I could fling this stuff. Oh, hey, there's another one of these. For, we'll get some more instinct goals. What else is here? So, yeah, it, it kind of doesn't really fill in the map. Okay, but it does at least point us to the, the tower. Hi, hello. Oh. No, huh? I mean, I feel like you should have had your Skyrim joke go all the way and just let me hop my way up any mountain. Ugh, okay. I gotta take this lance off. It's, it's screwing things up bad. see if we can find a proper way up. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah, so here's a, a, a multiplayer only event. Got a couple of those around. in this part of the map and then maybe we'll play something else yeah this you know the, the more time i spend with this i'm like simultaneously more into it and less into it if that makes sense there's like a ah there's a lot more to this than it initially lets on but also it's you know you hear a lot of the same dialogue you hear a lot you know there's just a lot of Repetition, like it just feels like that. In some ways, it feels like there's not enough there. Um, I bet this would be a, this would be a good silly multiplayer thing. I bet getting four players together would be real stupid. But it, it's stuff like you know, it's stuff like that. Like the the you know, if you fall from a great height, you know, you you always kind of you never land it. Unless there's something I'm missing about, you know, like, hey, if you hit this button, you'll land better. But, like, I almost wish it just had a more defined kind of, you know, re really like a, like a trick system kind of thing. In terms of being able to just combo your wall rides into big jumps into lands to, you know, and landing in a grind. You know, like, like those sorts of things would, would, uh, would go a long way. Oh. Apparently we found the edge. Reel it in. Do I need to... Ugh. And, like, I can't recover. So I can, I can bounce in this ragdoll state but if i could recover and actually try to do a wall run or if i could could land near a, a power line that would let me grind but like air recovery would really go along okay uh, uh, uh. all right not as simple as lick the fishing reel and reel it in that way huh
Uh, there. I was like, are we ever going to resurface here? I mean, this is just going to bounce. All right. Well, I don't really know what that's referring to, which is okay. But like, yeah, so some of the instincts are for tricks. Like, uh, at least early on, it'll be like, do a front flip, do a double, a double back flip or, a you know, a, a spin and a flip at the same time. Specifically, it wants to do a 720 backflip or front flip. And for the longest time, I couldn't land it because I had to get a little too much height in order to land the trick. And he would always land and fall over. And it just so it was just wasn't counting it. And so I, I just I don't know if the goat was slightly more robust and could land some of the tricks a little bit easier. I think that would just go a long way. But there are just too many instances where it just goes into this ragdoll state and you lose most control over it. It's just like, you know. Anyway. That's Goat Simulator 3. It's, uh... It's pretty good. Okay, let's get a little further back so we can do a full triple jump. seems like something you'd have to be able to do, right? Yeah. right don't get up go eat slugs what the frog what the frog shut up just a flesh Well, now, now we've gone and done it. Yeah, that's right. Run away. All right. 
Okay, that's just, I need to be a little bit closer in than that. So maybe like back feet on the half court line. Hmm. Maybe a little bit further away than that. That's a little short. What if I don't jump? If I just... Yeah, that's still viable. I don't, I don't, maybe I don't need to jump. Wait, did I not, I did not get a ball. Come on. Oh. Hey. Right, was, that, was that a school bus that just flew away? I don't think I got anything for doing that. Maybe I need to go get more instincts. Oh well. Michael's Bay. Okay. Alright. Alright, video game. Good. Yeah, take a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, take a picture of whatever the hell is happening there. That's a good call. Yep. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that's Go Simulator 3. It's pretty good. Yeah, draw distances are not awesome. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll look in... Oops, wrong. We'll see in, in the settings here. I don't know if it has... I believe it's pretty well turned up. Awfully turnt. Um, yeah. Doesn't look like there's much else to do there. How heavy is that GPU? I don't know. What? Oh, that's right. It has emotes and... Yeah, I can't really dance in the water, huh? And slow motion. Which is weird because it also... Well, maybe that's what you would want if you're trying to record something... You doing something crazy. But it also slows down your ability to turn the camera. Like, it slows everything down. Every input. Also. So it's kind of... It's weird. <laughs> This is the thing my daughter did the most is as you know, if I left her with the controller and just let her do her thing, she would accidentally put it into slow motion and then ask me for help. Um, because she didn't know what she did. Anyway, kind of weird. That's that's Goat Simulator Three. I, it's. You know, when I, when I first started playing it, I, I was very much like, hey, you know, this this seems very similar. And, and, you know, this was a really good, funny, silly thing last time out. And I don't know. There have been so many, like, quote unquote, fake simulator games over the years that maybe that joke doesn't work as, as well as it does. But no, it's still, it's still, it's still good physics-y fun, good sandboxy dumb stuff if you just like... I don't know. Fucking around. 
If you're into fucking around, might I recommend Goat Simulator 3, I guess. Or if you've got kids, I'm going to say would probably be way into it. My daughter, again, she's she's three. She's a little too young just from a like mechanics and, and using a controller perspective. But um, but other than that, uh, she seemed to like what it was what it was doing. But I didn't show her the true chaos. I mean, I didn't have the, the fireworks launcher or any other stuff. Maybe she would be way into that. Or way into watching that, at least. But, um... But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Seems good. How about that? Is it Dwarf Fortress time? No. No. I, I it's... It, 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 you're, you don't, you don't want to watch that stream... You don't want to watch me play the tutorial of Dwarf Fortress again and just go like, fuck. Because <laughs> um, I started it again last night after years and just went like, yeah, okay, yeah, no. I, I dig a stash, yeah, put a stash down, do all this stuff. I guess it's not, not, uh, not actually that entertaining. Um... Instead, I'm going to play a game that it's it's basically the Dwarf Fortress of its era. Same basic concept, really. Um, and that game is called... Uh, that's the wrong button. Fortnite. Have you heard of this? So I have everything turned up, but I don't have the ray tracing turned on because it drops too many frames in OBS with all that sort of stuff. So almost maybe consider this a before and after because uh, uh, the ooh, hang on. I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. If you can, that'd be great. Thank you. Yo, I'll be right back.
So, huh. What time is it? Hmm. Well, it shouldn't take much time to put it in. But how am I going to stream? I guess I'm going to have to switch to my phone. Because I'll have to shut this machine down. Okay. Install it while playing? Yeah, all right, cool. I'll just open it up, yank out the old card, hot swap them. Okay, well, this may be the end of the stream if something goes awry, <laughs> but uh, but I'll uh, I'll turn on my phone and we'll stream from there and uh, and yeah. So anyway, when I was talking about how I always play as this dude who looks like Snake Eyes, this is who I'm talking about. They've had all these years and years of all these different characters and all this other stuff and like. Who do I even have? I don't know. I guess for... Is this for buying Goat Simulator that I have this? Or, well, buy, you know, buying. I... I um, Epic unlocks games on my account for me in, in full disclosure. So I did not pay for Goat Simulator. Um, I just have a handful of random characters. I don't, I don't know. I got this guy. Um, and he seems cool. What are, you know, so I wonder, so like, I don't know if any of this stuff is like rare or cool or anything. Um, but you can't, it's not like you can trade it to other players, right? So, you know, it's not like the valve stuff where like, oh, you've got the Mac headphones and Oh my God, I can't believe you have the Mac headphones or, or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any cool emotes. And apparently I, I played the game around Christmas, I guess, because I have a bunch of Christmas shit. Unless those are now, um, uh, I guess I guess it's around Christmas now, right? Um, or what else? Uh, what you know? What, what do I have on my stupid TF2? I've got. I don't. Ha I actually don't have the Mac uh, headphones, but I do have the Sam and Mac stuff. So I have like the the Lugamorph, the pistol, and the um, the, the the bunny ears and that sort of stuff. Last time I looked, some of that was worth some amount of money. I forget. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going to actually do this. I've got a little fold out TV tray that I think will support the weight of the PC when I open it up. So maybe I'll do that. So, okay, stay tuned. I'm going to turn off this stream and I'll be back from my phone momentarily. And that'll be a, a mess. I don't have a good, I did buy a, uh, I bought a, <laughs> well, the first thing I bought, which is real stupid, um, I bought a uh, tripod for phones that was like real tall. I was like, yeah, no, I should do this. And then I can film like my Patreon trailer and all this other stuff with it out in the backyard or, or whatever. And then never actually unboxed it. Okay. So I'll be back from my phone in a minute. <laughs> well, um, now I'm, here. Now I'm here. And um, I can see myself. The stream picked up over there because that computer's still on. I, hmm. I mean, the right thing to do would have been hook a webcam up to my server machine and run, run OBS there and, and all this other stuff, but I don't have a, a, a that, there's no monitor or anything hooked up to that machine right now. So that's not a good solution. 
What does chat say? Can, can we all roast him for lying to us about RoboCop? It broke my heart. What about, what about it? What about it? I don't, what about it? I don't, I don't know what we are talking about, talking about with regards to, I don't know what we are talking about, talking about with regards to Fortnite Robocop. Robocop isn't in the store. I was when I loaded it up yesterday or the day before. I don't know. All right, I need to turn this down because when I hear it, it makes me crazy. Okay, um... I'm gonna open this box uh, before I turn the computer off or any of that other stuff. Let's. First things first. Let's make sure this box isn't full of rocks. I'm fully prepared to um, to get into this and realize like, oh, even though my case is massive, it still can't fit this or something. Or even though I have a power supply that, uh, you know, meets the recommended power supply, it, it doesn't, you know, like I, I'm fully prepared for this to like, for me to install this, have it not work, and then have to go buy other shit. Um, so we ended up with the MSI Gaming Trio um, 4090 here. I love this hat. Just get a Dremel, yeah. No, not the water-cooled one. I, I just, I don't... I already have so many different fans and things leading places in that case, but like the idea of finding a place to mount those other fans um, sounds miserable. Talk about the Limp Biscuit uh, American flag poster. Yeah, someone sent that to the P.O. box. Uh, they were in, I, for, I forget their name, they were in chat when I first got it and first showed it on stream, but uh, yeah, someone... Someone sent that in, and, uh, yeah. The other thing is, oh, you know what? I'm going to get my iPad, and maybe I can use the iPad to look at chat. Because if the camera is here doing this, then, um, you know, I can't see chat. We talk about this hat, uh, you know, bucket hats are back. We've all We all know it. I want to thank Jake Hager for the most relevant thing he's done in his entire career is to get that hat over and uh, and be and this is as over as he's ever been and uh, I love I love what his character is now and I love him on social media out shopping with no shirt on with a fanny pack and a fucking bucket hat on um, I think that's tremendous I think that's great television Okay. Okay. What are we looking at here? myself I've hurt myself on the graphics card
This thing is fucking thick. Jesus. What have we done? Okay, what else we got in the box? I think this is coming. This comes. I think this comes with a case bracket, or something that's going to help you, uh, you know, mount it properly. Let's set it here for now. Set it on the anti-static bag. Seems like the right thing to do. Um, yeah, you know, I started watching. Please use three individual PCI cables from the power supply to avoid any possible issues. Illustrated as following. Hmm. I might have to step out into the garage and find my big bag of power cables. And then this would appear to be a bracket for, I don't know how this works though. Read the instructions on how to install a graphics card, like some kind of system requirement. Package contents include graphics card and whatever this is. System requirements, a hole for the graphics card to go in. You probably should have a monitor. Uh, I guess Windows 11. And then maybe you might need a screwdriver. Maybe. Auxiliary tools. Step one, open case. Step two, insert card. Step three, screw it down and plug in power. Step four, put the case back on. No information. Okay, is there anything on the back here about... Huh. No, there is not. I guess I was just mostly curious. I mean, it's a graphics card, right? You just, you put it in, you plug in shit, and you're good. But this mounting bracket, it is not immediately, when I look at it, it is not immediately clear how it goes in or where you put it. So let's pull it out and stare at it for a minute. Does it play combat? I would hope that it would play Bill Ambeer's combat basketball at full frame rate, but um, we have a tiny baggie with some kind of rubber feet in it. And Those brackets attach to the PCI sl slots on the case. So do I put it, maybe when it's in front of me, it'll, it'll, it'll make more sense where that actually goes. Yeah, does this, does this screw into the, wait. Yeah, I'm trying to envision. I'm trying to envision where where this goes. Um, okay, well, we'll open it up and see what happens. All right. Okay, I'm turning off the PC, which means I won't. I'm gonna grab my iPad and see if I can use that to continue to read chat. Get the latest version of the Twitch app. Just miss, man. Let me just. All right, log in. Ugh. All right, we got type passwords. What if I, maybe instead if I just instead of using the Twitch app because I just really need to read chat, maybe if I just go to the URL in the browser. Uh, 
Where is chat? How do I make it? Start watching stream. Okay. I'm... Is there no chat in the browser in, on mobile? What, uh... Will it not even let me look at chat unless I'm logged in? I, this is confusing. All right, we'll go back to the app. We'll go back to the app. Okay, we'll type this password. Sorry, this is... I'm all flustered because I want to get to work, you know? Um... Oh my god, type in the... Hmm. It's making me authenticate again. And now I have the two-factor, which I think I can do from here. Oh, that's not installed at all. I never set up my iPad with stuff, so... I never logged into anything on the iPad. Uh, DMing me a direct link to chat. Is, okay, really? I guess I am going to just need to type it in. Right, pop out. Thank you. That was going to be my next thing. It's like, I think there's just a URL for chat, right? This Da, 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 da. Slash chat. There. All right. That took way more work than it should have, <laughs> but here we are, I think. Yeah, okay. Plug in the PCI splitter before installing the card, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I may have to dip out to the garage and grab um, more, uh, more cables, more power cables. because it wants three of them. All right, we got this. We need to feed that with as much power as we can get. I need to get to this PC now. Okay, let's move the chair. Move this uh, VHS head cleaner tape. This the keyboard that's hooked up to my mister, and uh, try and set this tray, this TV tray here. We'll put the PC on that. That's not hmm. Eh, that's not the most sturdiest thing in the world, but I think it'll be okay. Let's get this PC disconnected and rip all the cables out of the back of it. Okay, I'll try and keep these in some semblance of order. When it comes to these display port cables at least. This would be a scenario where if my phone was available, I would take a picture of the order of the cables as they were plugged in. 
but hey. Same deal with all these USB cables. But they'll go anywhere. It'll be fine. Okay, we'll dangle that right there. Unplug the power cable and lift this thing up. Oh, right, it's heavy. Okay. Now, which side is the side we want to open? I think it's this side, right? I always forget. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's lay it down. Okay, that's extremely rickety. But it seems okay for now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. So here's what we're dealing with right now. Okay. Is this going to clear? <laughs> it's going to be tight fit. But yeah, okay, no, that should still, well, we'll find out. We'll find out, okay. Um, I have a screwdriver over here. And we will take this card out, put the other card out, and that'll be that, right? Easy peasy. It is pretty clean inside, which is nice. It's uh, made it very easy, you know, and then the limited situations where I have had to work in the case, um, it's been very straightforward, you know, for the most part. Uh, unplug these. Do I have a third? Hmm. I might have the power situation covered already, actually. I may not need to go get more cables because the 3090 already takes two. And I think I've got a third in here that I can use. Let's... Plug these in now while we're here. And unscrew this other graphics card. We've got a little magnet here that covers the holes. Which is kind of a cool idea, though I'm really never comfortable with the idea of magnets inside a PC case, you know? Make sure we're not stripping these screws. I already wish I was doing this in a more comfortable way and not hunched over the case. Never great for the back. All right, we've unscrewed one screw and it's gotten loose inside the graphics card. Not good. Okay, there, oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay, second screw coming out. I already had to swap graphics cards in this because I, I ordered it pre-built and um, 
And when I got it, the graphics card was dead. And so I had to RMA that, and they had to send me another graphics card, and I had to send the other one back and go through this whole process. It was such a hassle, because it already took months for the, the computer to show up in the first place. Okay. Now, where's that? Push down on this notch down here. And then we should just be able to lift this graphics card out. Wait, no, one more screw. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a tight fit. Um, I don't have anything in front of it. I mean, there's, hmm. I do have my CD, my Blu-ray burner there. Um, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, push down on the tab. That's already kind of popped. Now we just lift this out. Remember when people thought these graphics cards were large? Well, they are. <laughs> they are still large. Okay, we need to set this somewhere. We'll set it over here on the chair. Nice anti-static chair. And we need to look and make sure that we've got another option for power. We do but it is zip tied. And so I am going to need to cut that to get at these additional cables. Hmm. Hmm. Unless I can very gingerly slide these through. Um, hmm. All right, I need a pair of scissors. I'll be right back. get 
back to work. Let's get on the team a little bit, okay? okay. Bye. Okay. All right. We're back with a pair of scissors. I talked to my daughter for a little bit. She yelled surprise in my son's face right after he'd woken up, and then he started crying. It was a whole thing. Okay. We have cut this off of the power cables, and thus we should have what we need for this. Okay. These fit here like this, and then they go into this like this. Right? Yeah. All right, we'll plug this in. So that's three power cables, three power cables. Looking good there. And so now we just need to seat the card, plug in the power, bless the machine in some way, and hope for the best. All right, let's see if this is gonna fit. If I could do the camp, I could, oh man. <laughs> yeah, there was a part of me that was just like, am I gonna have to go get a bigger case and redo everything? I don't know, no, no, this'll fit, this'll fit. There's a ground, there's a ground. Oh, I gotta take the rubber piece off the, the connector. That's gonna be key. Okay. Yes, this in indeed does fit. <laughs> Rejoice. I'm always a, I'm always a big case guy, you know. I'm always because usually because I want to just put a lot of hard drives in, in a machine, but uh, you know, you never know. <laughs> that is a. Uh, that is a tight fit, but it fits. I'll show you in a sec. Let me hook the power up to it. And uh, that goes the other way. I should screw the card down to make sure I'm really leveraging this power, really pushing this power connector in all the way. <laughs> that's, that's the problem, right? That's the, been the, the, the big concern is like, oh, when people don't push the power cable in all the way, their houses burn down. Whoops. Okay. That's as in there as that's going to get. We'll tuck these cables around here to try and keep my, well, I'll show you. Let's take a look. Screw it down. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Man, when Twitch starts ingesting AV1, we are gonna be balling. The card is so big. Remember, well, maybe you don't remember because you're not 100 years old, but Remember when you used to have like seven slots in a motherboard and they all had stuff in it? Like here's your, you know, your network card. Here's your sound card. Here's your, you know, USB ports or, you know, or whatever it is. Um, now it's just like, hey, plug in a graphics card. And if you're lucky, you'll have one more slot that still works. If you have enough lanes left or whatever. Um... Okay, so it's still not obvious to me where this goes. Does it go over it like this? Yeah, is that the... I 
I don't understand. <laughs> But that would, you know, yeah, they, because that would, the screws would be down there. Do I need to slide this in? Under with the card resting on the rubber feet. It goes under. Under meaning, like, here? Like that? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So we'll have to unscrew a couple more screws here. And I'll set this here, I guess. <laughs> um, no, that's not going to work. I need to get at that area. Doesn't say in the installation instructions. That's the crazy thing. It super doesn't. The installation instructions are a picture of a port and a graphics card and it being plugged into it. It's like so nothing. Uh, it's, it's really surprising. Um, okay, let's unscrew three more screws and then we'll put this mounting bracket down and then screw everything in, I guess. And I can't, I, I don't think I can receive a link right now. I don't think with the PC turned off and I don't, I, and my iPad not pro appropriately set up, I don't think I can receive a link and still have the stream go, but I think we'll be okay. Make extra sure the power connector can't be walked out by cable movement seems to be the cause of the melting issues. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure everything is, uh, down where it needs to go. And again, the, you know, they recommend an 850 watt power supply for this. And that's what I have. <laughs> So, hopefully that'll be enough. start to get one of these screws back in so I don't have to hold this thing as tight. All right. Gonna run some benchmarks. I, you know, I'll probably run the Call of Duty benchmark since that's the one I'm probably most familiar with lately. Um, Cause I've been running that game with OBS running to try to see you know, how well it does and all that sort of stuff. So that's probably really the only benchmark that I'm like reasonably familiar with at this point. So, okay, are all three of these? One, two, one, two, three. Okay, it's weird because this is this bracket is going over my capture card, um, but whatever, that'll work. So all this stuff's gonna be screwed down so tight that it'll it'll almost have to be fine. Okay. Well, that looks right, but I wonder if I moved, if I was supposed to move down one more bracket. Huh. Well, this will hold it in there pretty good. I think I just am putting one fewer screw back in than I had out before. Uh, 
Yeah, I should redo this. I should redo this. I should do this the right way for once. Okay, let's take these two screws out. And uh, that one. And lastly, one more screw out of the back here. And then see if that lines up a little bit better. Oh no, I was wrong. <laughs> um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Let me get this screw out and place everything and see how it looks. Okay, do we want it? Yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was not missing a screw at, at all. Yeah, no, that's all fine. Okay, okay. We'll screw this back in. Like so. And uh, so, yeah, sorry, what I'm doing here is putting the mounting bracket under the card here. I wasn't sure if I was trying to move it down one more because I thought that would fit better, but I, I was wrong. I was wrong about that. Okay, now make sure everything is aligned properly. Put this bracket in right there, right there, baby. screw it the hell down. I'm holding this with my hand and the screws are in my pocket. And I need to switch hands and okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, this is not the most like, uh, you know, well-produced installation stream, but you know, I'm sure at this point there are a hundred of those online. So you don't really need it. Okay, let's, oh shit, okay. We just need to get this screw started. Surprised I didn't have a tripod. I do, I, I just haven't unboxed it and I just didn't feel like setting it up, you know? Okay. Oof. All right. Hunched over a PC. It's, it's been a bit. Okay, support bracket. We'll put it right there. We'll screw that down a little bit better. Yeah, I, I bought a I bought a phone tripod and um, and just never I just haven't bothered to unpack it. So you know. Okay, let's do this second. Let's move everything up that way, in the, in the opposite direction, away from where it will sag, and then try to screw it down, and try to not strip the screws if we can help it, but hey. Sometimes you're gonna strip a screw. That's just life. All right, that's... Hmm. Well. That's a little weird, but I guess there's no weight on it right now, that's why, so, okay. Four more screws to put back in. Wait, four more screws to put back in? Oh, I am missing a screw this way. Oh, whatever. Okay. We need to move the card back a little bit. Oh, no, that's one, two... No, that's three screw holes. Okay, so yeah, we're... We're leaving out one screw that we had in there before. 
it'll be okay. Right? Ow. That's fine. We're fine. Motherfucker. All right, come on. All right, we need to lift the card ever so slightly to just to open up access to this screw hole. But I also can't see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this screw in the hole by feel. And am I even close? God damn it. Okay. Really don't want to drop this screw in the case if I can help it. Ow. Case to be made for magnetic screwdrivers. The thing they don't want you to use <laughs> in your PC case. Ah, shit. Well, we dropped a screw. Okay, well, we need to tip the case up and try to find this screw now. God damn it. Okay. There it is. Okay, now I just need to have smaller hands so that I can get it out. Almost got it. You. You. <laughs> got it. Okay. Crisis averted. For now. Ouch. My back is not, uh, you know, I don't have the best back. I've never had the best back. Going all the way back to high school. So, like, hunching over this case is fucking killing me. All right. Okay. If I had a third hand to just lift up on the graphics card just enough. Okay. Instead of trying to do this one hand tight, we're gonna try to. Okay. Oh, is that in? I can't quite tell. Damn, okay. Shit. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Alright, it's getting hot in here too. I'm gonna open the window. Okay. Okay, if I can get this in here. If I could just see, you know? If I could just see what the hell I was doing. All right, I think we got it. Nope, nope, nope. Get in there. Get in there, motherfucker. God damn it. shit. It's, we need to have a little bit more lift on the card, which I'm not getting. And then, uh, just needs to happen, you know? Let's try a different hole. If I can get one in, that'll at least secure it in a way that makes the other holes a little bit more accessible, or the other hole, I guess. Um, whew, okay. Son of a bitch. All right. 
I hate this. <laughs> I can't get in there. My hands are just a little too big. Damn it, fuck. All right, what am I gonna do? What am I need to do differently here that's going to make this happen? We're going to go out to the garage. I'm going to go out to the garage and see if I have a longer magnetic screwdriver. Because I have a short one that won't fit. But I'm going to see what I got. I'll be right back. Okay, longer magnetic screwdriver found. Well, see, now that's just easy. No one should be able to do it this easily. This is stupid. this stuff screwed down. Nice and tight. Got two more that need to go in. You know, they always ask, oh, don't put magnets near your computer. You're going to ruin all your hard drives. And like this case straight up has a tiny magnet in it that covers these screw holes when you're not using them. And our final screw.
The other benefit of having a, a screwdriver that is the right size is you, you're less likely to strip them, turns out. So that's handy. Okay, we've got this thing in. We've got the bracket in there um, in a position where it seems like it will help. Um, we've got everything screwed down tight. This is the screw we're now missing here. This, this gets covered by the bracket. Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Double check all of it. All right, that feels great. Uh, okay, let's route this cable stuff somewhere where it's gonna stick and not move and not get unplugged and not set the house on fire, hopefully. Can we get these? Can we get this up around here? Yes, we can. Maintaining something of a clean look. Let's double check this connection here. Make sure the connection to the car is good. Looks good, feels good. Feels like it's fucking in there. Where did I put that stupid magnetic strip? Hmm. Where did I put that stupid magnetic strip? It's not up here with the rest of my tools. Is it under the anti-static bag? No. This desk is a mess. All right. Um... Well, fuck it. We don't, I mean, whatever. <laughs> oh, it's right here. So that goes under here to cover this hole. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, you know, I guess when the holes are covered, a little less sound getting out, right? Cover the case. Close the case, rather. Case closed. Okay, well, I guess now I need to plug all these fucking cables back in and uh, hope for the best, so we'll see how it happens. Let's clear some space for me to move this back over. I did this in a very haphazard way <laughs> when it came to moving all the things before. All right. First, we stand it up. <sighs> now we move it over. Now we plug a million USB cables into it. Okay, we got power. We got HDMI from the capture card. We've got all these display ports. Including that one. And that one. And there is a third. There it is. I'm not, I don't understand, uh, I, I don't understand cable management. I don't know how that works. I would love to. And maybe someday I will, but uh, okay, that one's an HDMI, so we don't need that one, but we do need to move these, or I'll just plug them in any which way and figure that out later in the display settings. Okay, here's our other HDMI cable for the capture card. Here is our Ethernet cable. 
And now all that should be left is about a thousand different USBs. These I at least bundled together in a way that is slightly sensible. Okay, there's one. Oh, this one needs to go. Turned around, right there. And then the cam link goes in that one, let's say, for now. <laughs> All right, that should be everything. Let's flip the switch, turn the power supply back on, move this stupid table out of the way. Roll this chair back over. this old graphics car over here that old piece of trash <laughs> all right it is booting it appears that i have managed to plug in my main monitor into the primary monitor port for once which is nice <laughs> instead of having to look sideways to adjust BIOS. <sighs> Whew, I am out of breath <laughs> from moving that stupid thing. Probably not a great sign. <laughs> probably get out a little more. <clears throat> All right, the card is emitting video and uh, it is a super bad resolution as Windows tries to figure out what's going on. Okay. It has figured it out. Windows 11 has figured out which monitor is which and is set up exactly the way it always was. Which is great. Let's configure. That's all still configured. Okay. Um, I guess let's get OBS open back up and we'll uh, switch back over to the proper stream. And uh, yeah. Sometimes OBS doesn't open. Okay, there we go. Okay, the camera is not showing up. None of these webcams are lit. Well, actually, that's... Yes, sometimes OBS opens but doesn't open. I have found that the secret to getting it to then open is to try to open it again, and then it will open twice. And then you can close one, and it will work. Um, okay, well, I'm going to have to move some USB stuff around a little bit because the cam link is not coming in. What, uh, where, was I using the NVIDIA webcam? I was, and that's a different SDK, right? So maybe that's, maybe if I take the filter off. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, because it's a different it's a different SDK download for the 40 series cards than it is for the 30 series cards. So that's almost certainly what it was, right? Is like since it was using the filter and the filter was for the other thing. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Um oh right, I forgot. You're you're not even seeing the stream yet. Okay, I'm going to turn this stream off and then turn this stream on. I'll be back in 20 seconds. I forgot, now I have to talk into the, mi the microphone. Okay. This immediately started playing the replay of my stream on my phone, and I don't need that.
No one needs that. Okay. Um, so I guess first order of business for me is I'm going to try Call of Duty and see what the benchmark has to say. Because that's been the... That's been the thing I've been messing with the most when it comes to running the benchmark over and over again and turning um, OBS on and off and all of this sort of stuff. And because that's been the, uh, the it's been, it t just takes enough of a performance hit. Oh, it lost my, um, my Windows smart zones, my power tools smart zones on this monitor. Because it's a, it's, it thinks it's a different, because everything's plugged in differently. Whatever. That's easy to set back up. Okay, fine. Uh, and now, okay, I accidentally stretched OBS out all the way, and oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Let's move this like this. And then like this. Okay. Much better. Your computer appears to have changed since you last ran Call of Duty. Would you like it to configure itself? I think I already had it pretty much on high anyway, so. But let's just say yes anyway and see what it does. Yeah, I gotta get that GeForce experience going. If I'm not, if I'm not having a GeForce experience at least once a day, then I need to see a doctor. Um, okay, let's hit this. Ooh, that transition looked like shit. <laughs> Oh, it's because it's doing shader optimization. That's going to run bad no matter what. Okay, good to see the capture card is still emitting the no signal thing. That's good. Let's try to get this PC game captured and showing up. I'm going to hit this button a few... There we go. Didn't need to install new drivers. No, going from one NVIDIA card to the other, it is usually just going to truck with that and be like, oh, yeah. Throw that iPad over there. Yeah, now Dwarf Fortress in the 4090, clearly. Um, we'll let these shaders compile and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll take a look. Um, Does it look any different off the bat? No, but you know, it, it's the shaders are compiling, so it's kind of hard to get a sense of what, um, you know, it, it's going to stutter during that process, no matter what. And, you know, and I'm moving from a 3090. <laughs> so like this game, this game runs incredibly well, uh, already. And so this, this is the, the test here is, can I stream it actually? Can I, uh, can, will will the will the benchmark run above 100 frames per second and not be stuttery? It wasn't even so much the frame rate. It was just like it would stutter a lot. It was very uneven. And even on the, this G-Sync monitor, it would still look really funky. And, um, and that was unfortunate. Does Call of Duty have DLSS 3 support? It does not. Yeah, and then we'll, you know, we, we're... <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm running out of time here, but, uh, but yes, as soon as these, okay. It looks like our, are our shaders done? No. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I ran the benchmark last night and it crashed in the middle of it. So. Thank you. Yep, this is already significantly better than it was. That frames per second number is already quite a lot higher than it would be with OBS open. And this is maintaining its smoothness here on the monitor in a way that it definitely did not before. This jump and dive and turn here, that always looked like total shit. Um, and the frame rate number wouldn't always take a huge dip, but it you would see it stutter on it in a way that um, 
suck. And it basically made it so, like, you know, I, I could not stream this game from this PC. And so I'd have to play the PlayStation version or something like that, which, again, is a totally fine solution. <laughs> it's not... Um... Yes, that's a much higher number. And I would get like 83% on the GPU bottlenecking at the end of this. Let's see what it says. 37. Yeah, so the CPU is back to being the bottleneck. It would say like 83% GPU bottleneck on this screen. And um, and I would get somewhere. It was not 133, that's for sure. It was like... Um, it would say 80 as the average but again it just it was uneven and that was the real problem with it is it just did it wasn't it wasn't maintaining smoothness so now yeah i gotta upgrade the cpu i've got a 5950x where can i go from there what do i need to upgrade to is this a max settings i'm gonna say probably um we can go and look because i because i just did auto settings before we before we came back in here, dynamic res off, vsync off, custom frame rate limit 165. That's right. Oops. Shader, shader, shaders, blah, blah, blah. Quality, custom, NVIDIA image scaling. Yeah. 85. Yeah, yeah. High, 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 long. Near tessellation, huh? All tessellation. What are we doing? Extra, extra, ultra, ultra. On plus boost. Motion blur. We're just going to turn all that off. Um, why no DLSSS? Why no DLSSS? Uh, because it didn't, it didn't pick it. <laughs> um, Instead, it went with this. Because I just set it to be automatic. I, yeah, I mean, I guess you could do probably do DLSS and, and go from there, but I... I don't know what you actually want here. Something to mess around with, I guess. Let's, uh... Let's just get into one match. I probably won't even, won't even play the full match, but, um... The colors pop more. No, I mean, come on. This screen does look nice in a way that I never noticed before, but that's, you know, that's what you do when, when you buy a graphics card, the dumbest shit, you're like, this is, uh, this guy's mustache is looking, this is looking nice. Huh? Huh? Um... Yeah, this is already running way smoother um, while capturing. This is basically on par with the performance I would get when I was not capturing before. You know what I mean? Um, bad shooting. <laughs> I like this guy. Fuck me! I don't like sitting up there. It's no fun. I like coming over here and dying. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, you, yeah, you did the thing. I deserved that. Be funny, like ah, oh, the frame rate's a lot better, but I never got another kill again. Oop, missed. Oh, there's a guy. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah that's dumb. <laughs> I am kind of playing in a rush because I have to, I gotta, um, we're going to play some Fortnite here in a little bit and see how that looks. And then I, and then I have to get going <laughs> and I probably won't be able to touch this again until, uh, you know, six o'clock or so. Uh, oh, there's a guy up there. That's where that, yeah, sure. Go 
Guys running down the middle. I got their number. Everybody else. Not so much. Drugs. We need drugs. That's what we've been missing. Oh, oh, oh. That was dumb. Why were you not killing me? Like that guy was. Yeah, I don't know. Looks nice. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but this is so, you know, again, this game was really rough. Uh, or, or the frame rate was very uneven when, um, when streaming. And so, so that is a significant difference right there in terms of like that runs at a much smoother frame rate. All right, let's launch the old Epic store here and take a look at Fortnite before we go. Uh, yes, and the AI stuff, yeah. I mean, I have some of that stuff installed and it would take about 45 seconds per image to generate an AI image with that stuff. And so we'll see how quickly it generates. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll test that out later. That's part of the, you know, like I was making, I was generating a bunch of really dumb images for my wife that she was bombarding someone with. And, um, you know, the GPU couldn't really keep up with her requests. And so I'm like, well, it's time to upgrade. I mean, I'm joking, but there, there was a part of me that was like, oh yeah, I wonder how, how quickly can I generate stupid shit? How quickly can I generate nude images of John Cena now? Right? Yeah. The jukebox AI stuff. I can do that natively, huh? That's yeah. Cool. Okay, we have to turn this, uh, we have to go turn this stuff on and then, and then restart, uh, hardware ray tracing. I mean, let's do this, I guess, right? I was watching a lot of videos last night about um, OBS settings and AV1 encoding and a lot of that stuff. And obviously none of the streaming services take AV1 right now. So I can't send that. To, but okay, if you're not familiar, AV1 is a, is an encode, it's a codec that you can... It's basic idea is that it's about 40% smaller than the codec that Twitch uses right now. So the idea being that you don't need as much bandwidth to send a higher quality video feed through. And uh, that will be a big deal when Twitch and YouTube start supporting it. You can upload AV1 videos to YouTube and it will encode them, but I don't think they can handle live stuff. They can take uh, H.265 or HEVC if you will, uh, for live streams on YouTube, but Twitch cannot take that. Um, and so it's just, I think a matter of, of Twitch and YouTube need to do the work to make it work. And they have not yet, or they're in, in the process of doing it. But now that these cards are out and more and more people are, you know, cause, uh, the, the latest Intel cards have hardware encoding, I think for, for AV one as well. And those are way cheaper. So you could, you know, you could add one of those to your existing machine with another graphics card in it and just use it for the encoding if that was something you really wanted to do. 
And um, that'll end up being a big deal for, I think, for image quality. When, when we start talking about people streaming at 4K and, and all that sort of weird stuff, like those sorts of codecs will help make that possible. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, that's, that's pretty exciting stuff. Um, like I can already, so with, uh, with OBS, I can record to an AV one, but then, you know, playing it back or uploading it somewhere. Like I said, YouTube can take it. So, you know, if I was recording a lot of um, pre-recorded videos or something like that, if that was, if that was my primary thing, I, I would probably switch to AV one for that. But, um, and I may switch to that for, you know, when I do pre-recorded stuff. Um, but since Twitch can't take it, you're still using X264 there, which is, you know, a, a very old codec. What is the stuttery mess? Oh, my damn money back. Not capturing. Oh, right. Yeah, right. I should do that. Um. Okay, let's get out up here. I guess I don't know. Fortnite. I think a lot of the lighting stuff in this does look really nice. Um. You know, the move to Unreal Engine 5 is, is pretty cool. footsteps, but I guess that guy's in the next building over, isn't he? Yeah, it's a little stuttery. Someone in chat was saying that it uh, just kind of uh, is stuttery <laughs> no matter what, and when I had everything turned on and OBS open with that other card in, it was like this times a hundred. It was it was it was pretty rough. Am I getting shot at? That looked that looked like bullets coming my way. Oh I guess we got pool tables. Let's go see where these shots are coming from. Yeah, this doesn't run great. <laughs> Fortnite! Um, yeah, I wonder how much of that is like, do they need to do further optimization? Or is that, yeah, or is that shader stuttering in the classic sense, in the classic Unreal Engine sense? Or what are we, you know, what are we dealing with here? Is that something that because I have not played much Fortnite? Um, and this is with everything turned all the way up. So, I don't know. It's going to take too long to find another match, honestly. Um, the big problem with a Battle Royale. All right, well, you know, we will continue to prod and poke at this as time goes on. And I will reinstall the the background removal effect stuff and and all of that and continue to hone it in, I guess. I don't know. But that's a 4090. I don't know. Seems good. <laughs>
it, it seems like it works, which is nice, honestly. Uh, does the background removal stuff have a performance hit? Probably. I mean, you know, everything is going to have something of a performance hit. Um, power consumption. Well, you know, it's uh, coming from 30, 3090 to a 4090. I'm sure that's going to be up a little bit, but this room already got plenty hot. So I, I don't know. It's, you know, probably, you know. Yes, it is going to consume power. We need more power, more power, more cameras. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's exciting. Thank you for hanging out with me while I uh, just clumsily installed that thing. It's nice to have something work on the first boot. That's always, uh, that's always the thing. It's like, all right, I hooked it all back up and I decided to plug all of the cables back in instead of just the key ones because that's, I'm trying to exude a confidence here that's going to inspire the whole PC to just work. And, and here it does. Um, do I think I might stream Portal RTX tomorrow? No, tomorrow I'm going to go to the Game Awards. And um, so, yeah. But uh, yeah, I should be around on Friday. And so maybe Friday we'll take a look at Portal and see how that looks. And maybe Callisto Protocol with all the ray tracing stuff turned on there. I somehow doubt that that game is going to run smoothly under any circumstances. But uh, maybe it'll take less of a hit on the ray tracing. With that 3090, it was going from 100 frames per second on their benchmark with ray tracing turned off down to 50 with it turned on. Which seems like a substantial hit. So... So yeah, um, yeah, anyway, yeah, I, I'm, I'm probably going to go to the award show. Um, I'm definitely going to go into that area for a while and, and hang out for a bit and see some folks and then, you know, yeah, I, I have a ticket to the award show, so I'll probably go to that and then head on home. Um, afterwards, no. No weird after parties. I don't even know if I don't even know if there's an after party. There's a thing. There's a thing beforehand. I'm going to. I got a couple of invites to go see some games and stuff like that that I ended up um, not taking them up on. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get going. Have yourselves a great rest of your Wednesday. Get yourself a magnetic screwdriver that uh, works and fits in the case just right and uh, and. All this stuff just falls right in line. Boom, boom, boom. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye.